Jeff Frick here from Silicon Angle. We are live at Dogpatch Studio, San Francisco, California, for the Fusion IO Atomic Series launch. I'm here with David Floyer, a respected analyst, top analyst from Wikibon.org, covers Flash, covers data centers. So, David, what do you think? Uh, Fusion IO have taken the atomic of their atomic rights, put it into the name of their products, brought out a new series of uh, very, very dense Flash. Uh, it's PCIe cards, 6.4 terabytes in a PCIe card. Uh, eight of those can go into a server. Uh, that's over 50 terabytes in a server. Uh, and together with the software and the controller software and the uh, Linux software, they're able to produce some amazingly fast results. Uh, very, very consistent, low latency. That's what they're after. They're after the high-end, low latency market. Uh, they're going after that like a laser uh, to take uh, a, uh, uh, another, another simile. And uh, it's, they've put this uh, atomic, uh, new atomic uh, flash cards into all of their products, into the IO control, into the ION accelerator, and they've got some very interesting new uh, partnerships, for example, with SAP, they, with the I.O. control, or the I.O. accelerator, they can have 32 HANA nodes on it. That's pretty impressive, actually. That flash there is being used to load the stuff into HANA as quickly as possible and take it out again at the end of it so that they can use that DRAM more efficiently, get more, more uh, different applications in and out of the HANA system. So they talk about flash aware applications, which is what you're just talking about. Yeah. What does that really mean? Well, it means mainly for the database. That the the uh, application is aware that the database is on flash, that it can do uh, the, uh, the uh, IOs in just one write to the uh, flash as opposed to the normal two. That pretty well doubles the throughput, doubles the uh, uh, wear on the, late, on the uh, drives themselves. Um, uh, and together with, for example, what's very interesting is that they've gone oh, not just for the MySQL from Oracle and Pacona and MariaDB, but they're now also uh, have uh, harnessed Microsoft SQL. Uh, they've said that, that with Microsoft SQL, Microsoft has said they could get up to four times the performance by using the flash as the persistent storage. That's a very, very impressive claim for uh, SQL 2014. Yeah, I was impressed. They really talked about two partner ecosystems. Yeah. One was a hardware partner ecosystem, and one was a software partner ecosystem. You know, on the hardware side, uh, I've got Dell, IBM, uh, kind of all the usual suspects. How important is it and why is that good to be working closely with these partner ecosystems? What does that enable them to do well, that they couldn't do on their own? Well, they've, they've gone away from the direct model to the indirect model. They've gone to using Dell, IBM, Lenovo, etc., to sell their products. And with the link with the database, they'll do their marketing indirectly uh, on being able to increase the throughput, increase the value of the applications themselves. So they've gone away from, they, 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 can, they believe they can now afford to go more away from the direct selling uh, the approach that they had before. So they're using they, these partners, they, hardware partners. And that's not a surprising move. I mean, you want to get to a direct uh, a partner model as quickly as you can if you want to uh, put your products worldwide. So do you view this as a, as, as a kind of an incremental change for Fusion IO, the company, or is this really transformative, the combination of both the technology as well as the go-to-market and the capability that they're delivering with this new series? Well, it is, a, it is the culmination of a long, long journey. Uh, the journey to get atomic rights built into the databases, to get the acceptance of Microsoft and Oracle, uh, MySQL, and Pacona, et cetera. That's a long, hard journey. Now the, now the challenge is you've got the pieces in place, <laughs> you've got the uh, software in place, now they're going to have to convince the ISVs and the, uh, the developers to use it. 
it's easy to do if you've got somebody big like Facebook. There's a real compelling reason why they need it. <laughs> but it's, it's harder when you get out into the enterprise to convince them that this is going to have real value. Right. It is. It's going to change the way that applications are designed. It's going to change the way that businesses can actually do business. But that is many years off. Uh, and and, and the, the challenge that Fusion IO has had is that they're actually ahead in the technology, well ahead. What is holding them back is not the technology, but the software and the skills of designing applications uh, and, the, and the entry into the uh, enterprise marketplace. That's going to be the next challenge is to broaden it from just the narrow, relatively few people in the hyperscale market out into the enterprise. Right, and, and Shane and the executives highlighted a few verticals where they're having some early success. Financial services, healthcare, media and entertainment. So, you know, these are places where, as they say, time is money. Uh, and, and there's getting some early traction in there. So it sounds like they're getting started, but you don't want to be too early in the market, all right, then it's dangerous. Well, that, that's the challenge, isn't it? You, uh, uh, you, you need the market to accept it. You need all of the uh, infrastructure, the software infrastructure to be in place. Uh, and you need <coughs> imaginative developers to be saying, uh, this is a way that I can make more money uh, for my corporation. That's the challenge. Uh, they've got great products. Uh, they've got, uh, they're going after that very, very high performance end of the marketplace. Uh, they've got a clear differentiation between them and the SSDs, for example. There are a lot of those out there. Clear differentiation between them and the flash-only arrays. Very, very much lower latency. Very much lower latency than them. So there is light, but the challenge is enough customers to, to go out and experiment and design new systems. That's their challenge. Well, we know you'll be covering it, David, so we'll be watching for the updates on the research. You can follow everything David does at wikibond.org. Covers it like a glove. He's been on top of it, atomic rights, MVM compression, kind of the growth of Flash into the data center, the application-centric world. So we'll keep an eye on it. Again, Jeff Frick here live, Dogpatch Studios, San Francisco, California, for the Fusion IO Atomic Series launch. We'll be right back. We'll try to wrangle up a few more guests before we head out.